All right, well, we're going to be talking about a context-free grammar for all palindromes over 0, 1. So remember that a palindrome is a string of the form w, w, reverse, where w rev here means the reverse of w. And another way that we can even think about this is that it's the string must start with some character like 0 and must end with 0 also but also that the middle part is also a palindrome. And it doesn't matter whether it's a zero or a one at the front, as long as the middle part is a zero, then therefore it's a palindrome. So another way we can also think of this is, well, the string might not be even in length. So maybe the middle part could be a single zero or one. So we're gonna call, count zero, one, and epsilon as valid palindromes. You could uh, only want, say, even length palindromes, but here we're going to consider all length palindromes that are equal to their reverse. So how are we going to make a context for grammar for this? Well, we need to have a variable to start with, s. Well, 0, 1, and epsilon are valid palindromes, which are, so we're, let's include all those in. So all those have to be uh, strings that we can generate. Well, let's see. Well, if it's not one of those, if, then that means that it must start with some character like zero and then end with zero. Or it starts with one and ends with one. And of course, what's in the middle has to be a palindrome. So how do we design a grammar for this? Well, what we can do is use induction here. So we can think of these three right here as the base cases, the smallest string that we could ever derive. And if we have a longer string, we can use induction. So if we can assume we know how to make the middle part over here, if we know how to make this part right here in the middle, and we know how to make a zero at the front and the end, then we know how to make the whole thing. So here, all that we need to do is to do zero s zero or one s one. And this works, why? Well, certainly it gets all even length palindromes. So these are the inductive cases. Clearly because we're recursing on the variable s here. So it gets all even length palindromes because every palindrome using these rules will generate two characters, 0, 0, or 1, 1. And if the palindrome is of even length, we'll eventually stop on the epsilon rule here. But if it's odd length, then we'll be applying some, these rules some number of times, and eventually we'll stop on 0 or 1, which is exactly what we want. So this is a quick context-free grammar for all palindromes over 0, 1. So if you haven't liked the video yet, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and leave a comment below explaining how you were able to do this. And I'll see you next time.